All right, Gemini, you're pulling some difficult ones here. And you guys are not the only ones to pull this from Lay Vampire. So Gemini, this week from Lay Vampire, you pulled the, that death will come. Mortal, finite, and fragile. And then from Chakra Wisdom, you pulled isolation. Now, that death will come. The blessing says, knowing that we have one lifetime at a time to make changes, learn lessons, and move closer to the true purpose of our soul is a blessing. Knowing that each lifetime must not be wasted and is precious is a gift that compels us to live lives of meaning. And then working with this card says it is time to honestly create meaning in each day and to choose to make the very best of the time that you have. Every day is a gift. Make it count. Now, that's hard to do if you are in isolation. And this is where I worry. Isolation from Chakra Wisdom. The inspiration says, do not wait for the right time to live your life. You are on the verge of something big, but if you do not participate, it could pass you by. The personal question says, do you know the difference between isolation and solitude? The key ideas are self-protection, making excuses, over-preparing, never feeling ready to take action. For some reason, which I find it hard to believe, Gemini, some of you are dealing with a situation here where you need to remember that life is too short to be in this spot where you never feel like you're ready to take any action or you're just letting things pass you by. Maybe there's something that you need to do. And I don't, I don't think that you are in protection mode right now. Some of you may be, but it's time for that to be over with. Otherwise that death will come on that would not be showing up. All right, Gemini, here we go. Here's the energy coming through the chariot, but where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> and the only reason why I say that is because of the Oracle cards. I just worry a little bit, but the chariot as a signifier is actually a good thing to see. It's saying that you're using your self-control and your willpower and you're moving forward. There is a sense of victory here and there is momentum forward for some of you it could literally mean traveling, but we shall see how the chariot is playing out here. And in the past, the King of Pentacles. So, you know, for some of you, this may have to do with a person. And this could be an earth sign, Cap, Taurus, or Virgo. But I, I like the feeling of the King of Pentacles for you as well, in feeling successful. But I, I, I feel more like this has to do with a person. <laughs> a couple of people. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Where are you going? It's almost like, which one? Which one? <laughs> the King of Wands in the present. Fire. Aries, Leo, Sag. What's happening? What is happening? You've got two kings. If I see another king, I'm going to flip out. I swear to God. <laughs> now, as far as, you know, the energy that's surrounding you, it looks great, right? Being successful, being wise and adventurous, you know, and definitely going places, which is better than being in isolation. But when you're looking at needing to use some self-control and moving really fast into situations, who, 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 who are you moving into a situation quickly with here? Oh, <laughs> Jesus. All right. Now. The, the first thing I heard is that you're being pulled into temptation. <laughs> the devil. The devil in future conditions. I don't think, because I'm not seeing any swords happening here, you may be dealing with a relationship with one person that isn't that great, and maybe you're attracted to another person. Maybe you're just being tempted by a couple of different people. But whatever it is, it's not good. It's not good. And you're moving quickly into a bad situation. Man, Gemini, what is happening? You know, and maybe that's where some of you kind of revert to this isolation. Like, uh, I don't know what the hell to do. I'm just going to back away for a while. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Your best path to follow. Get some fucking control over yourself. And what you're doing, Gemini. The Emperor. The Emperor is your best path to follow. Now... You know, in this position, I look more at, you know, the energy and the advice that's there because this is spirit talking to you here. And yes, 
When you're looking at the devil next to that in the chariot, you're moving quick into a bad situation. You need to get control over yourself and what you're doing and where you're going. You know, and yeah, that is Aries for some of you. Yeah, it could be Aries, but you know, I don't know. I see the king of wands as sad. Right? But besides that, you're, you're moving really quick into a really bad situation here. You know, I mean, you've got Aries and then you've got Cap, you know, for some of you. But then you got Cancer front and center. But anyway, I think that you need to get control of yourself and you need to pick. You need to pick one is what it feels like. Or neither. Because with the devil sitting underneath both of these guys and, you know, again, male or female, right? That's just not a good thing. Oh, <laughs> jeez. In your environment, the Knight of Swords, I, I, you know, this is only going to apply for some of you. But for some reason, somebody needs to hear this. You've got to get some control over yourself. Seriously, don't be tempted. Don't be tempted to do something that you know is not a good thing to do. When you're looking at the Knight of Swords, yeah, it's reckless. You're recklessly moving forward quickly into something that is not good. Not good. And you know, what's funny is that I, I'm hearing that that King of Pentacles may be, you know, the better person here. As far as the situation goes, you need to think practically. Don't think with so much passion and, you know, wild abandon is the other thing. Jeez, Jenny, what is happening? I, I worry, I worry here. And it may be because, you know, you have somebody like really attractive in front of your face and you're like, oh yeah, let's go. And maybe that's not the best thing to do. Oh, <laughs> shit. Gemini, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my goodness. The Ace of Wands and your hopes and fears. Yeah, you're looking for some temporary satisfaction. That that's basically what it comes down to. When you're looking at the Ace of Wands as a hope, come on now. With what you have going on here, you know it's bad, but I think you're going to do it anyway. You know, and you could possibly have another person coming through that's saying, no, stop that, don't do that. Now, on the other hand, when you're talking about the duality and the personality, oh my shit. If this isn't a perfect, a perfect example of this... You have the practical side that knows better, but then you have the passion driven monster that's like, yes, I want to do this and I want to do this because I'm wanting some satisfaction right now. But spirit saying, hey, you're moving too fast into a situation that you know is no good because you're being tempted. Let's start getting control over ourselves. But I don't think you're hearing that at all. Not with that nine of swords. You're like, no. Oh, this one cracks me up. It's so funny. And it may be a situation here where, you know, this forces you to go into isolation because you did something you maybe shouldn't have done. You know, and then the other hand, too, is if you go after temptation rather than looking at, you know, long term security. Right. It may be a situation where you just kind of back off for a while, like, oh, shit, I did something wrong. I just need to take a time out. Right. But then again, you know, that death will come. Life is too short not to experience shit. And I'm like full on with that. I don't condone cheating. I don't condone like, you know, doing sneaky shit in a relationship. It's better to be honest and upfront. But I also believe that shit happens. There's a reason why people come into our lives. And this person's coming in with a lot of passion. They got you excited and you know it's bad, but you're going to do it anyway is what I feel like. <laughs> Even though you may have another part of you that is saying, no, this isn't smart. The other part is like, you know what? I'm tired of listening to you. I want to have some excitement. Oh my goodness. I'm like hearing so many different things on this, but wow, Gemini, what are you doing? <laughs> the outcome. So you do get to a spot here where things start to get a little bit more stable. When you look at the four of wands, you know, it's one of those things where You've put in a lot of work. It, it's time to step back and celebrate the work that you've done, right? But for a lot of you, it may be having to go back and like, you know, create a new foundation. Here's the thing. If you're getting out of a situation that's really bad, and that's the other thing I'm hearing, and you go into something that, you know, is a little bit better for you, once you start getting control over this situation, right, 
you're looking at, you know, that stable foundation. So now on, in terms of your personality and the duality that's going on, ultimately the, here the King of Pentacles wins out, which is good. That's good to see, <laughs> you know, but then seeing just this side of it looks really good too. You know, you kind of get to a point here where you start, you know, moving really quickly into a spot where you make the most of, you know, new opportunities coming through. There is a lot of passion there. Absolutely. And you have the ability to create your own stable foundation, but you got to be careful about temptation, right? Because the devil, you know, and, and it's sad that that card is attached to cap because cap for me always does the right thing. They always end up doing the right thing, but they're tied to the earthly possessions. You know, and that's really what this card represents. You know, being tempted in earthly pleasures. And, you know, we're so much more than that, right? I mean, you know, chaining yourself to bad situations too. But I, I do think that the, the more practical side of yourself is going to win out here looking at the Four of Wands. Now, for some of you, and then this is the other thing I'm hearing, if you get out of a bad situation and you follow this passion, you know, this may be a new situation here where you start to get a lot more stability, you know. And just be careful. Be careful where you're going. You don't want to go too quickly into something that you know is just short term, you know, because ultimately we all want something that's sustainable. Wow. <laughs> I don't feel anything super bad around this at all. You know, I'm not seeing a lot of sword energy. I mean, yeah, you get the Knight of Swords, but it would have been different if I would have seen some other negative cards coming up. I just think that maybe some of you are hitting the wild side. <laughs> but ultimately, the practical side is going to win out, which is good. And guidance. I'm telling you that the, the practical side is going to win out here. And, you know, guidance coming through for you is good to see. That means that, you know, even though you may be going really quickly into a bad situation, you know, guidance and the practical side of yourself is ultimately going to win out. You know, you may do something that uh, maybe you shouldn't and maybe acting a little bit too hasty because you're full of passion, which is understandable. But, you know, ultimately you are getting control here between the chariot and the emperor. And it's because you have some guidance around you. You know, communication, be careful about the way that you communicate, but definitely coming out of isolation and going into a rebirth, especially knowing that that death will come, is the perfect thing to see. Oh, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So basically with guidance coming through, that's saying that your spiritual path has led you to the right partner. I don't think that, you know, this is a situation here where religious issues or views are like causing problems. I think that your spiritual path has led you to the right person because I don't think that religion should be ever a factor when you are in love with somebody. There should always be openness and understanding when it comes to everyone's beliefs because there's truth in everything, right? But that is good to see, you know, especially if you share the same beliefs. It's always good to have that to share with your partner. But, you know, the, the singles is who I'm worrying about. <laughs> you know, but again, right? Life is too short. You got to find out. All right, Gemini. <laughs> this one's going to have me laughing for a little while. I'm not seeing anything bad. I just think that maybe some of you may be getting out of a really tough situation here. But then on the other hand, the devil is also talking about you going after temptation. And yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yes, yes, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, right? I mean, <laughs> I do think that you're going to get control over your life. And I think spirit is trying to tell you, hey, you know, we need to get order and control here. Now, when you're looking at the duality of the personality, I do ultimately think that the more practical side is going to win out. You know, and if you're hitting a wild streak right now, you know, it's good to see that you end up in this spot here with the Four of Wands. So even if you go after a little bit of temptation, I think you're going to get to a spot here where you may have to do some rebuilding. 
but you're headed on the right track. Just be careful, you know, make sure that you are in control of what you are doing and where you're going. I don't think that some of you really care, though. Like, you know, no, I'm going to go ahead and do this because, you know, again, life is too short. Life is too short not to experience things. And I do think that for some of you, you're coming out of isolation and hitting a rebirth. I really do. You know, and I, I do think that for some of you, it is a warning that, you know, one, with isolation, you don't want to let opportunities pass you by. But then on the other hand, you don't want to be going into opportunities that you know maybe aren't so good. But I think that some of you right now may be just looking for some short-term satisfaction. Which, you know, I, I, I get it. Like, I get it. I understand. But you have to be careful. But ultimately, where you go is into a spot where I do feel like you get some stability. The practical side wins out, right? And ultimately, you're going to get to a point where things get to, you know, this comfortable spot where you're a little bit more stable. Maybe you've gotten all that wild crap out of your system. But guidance and communication, you know, communication is going along definitely with the Knight of Swords. You need to be careful about how you're communicating with people. Only because I've always said this with him, he doesn't give a shit what anybody else has to say. He's got something to say and that's it and you're going to listen to it. Right? So you have to be careful about how you're communicating to other people. But then also the communication with the guidance that's coming through. Right? You may be being guided to move away from that kind of temptation and move into a spot that you know is better for you. But I just, I, I'm looking at these two and I'm going, hmm. <laughs> What are you doing, right? Especially with the devil being there. But I'm not seeing anything bad. I think you're all right. I think that if you need to get something out of your system, you know, you're going to have to do it. Now, when it comes to relationships, again, I, like I said, I don't condone, you know, going around and sneaking around and doing shit behind people's back. There's no point in doing that. You might as well be truthful and upfront. You know, I don't believe in that sneaky shit. But I'm not seeing that here. I'm not seeing you doing that. I just think that this is targeted toward the Geminis that have a wild side that need to get it out of their system and get it under control. Now, when you're looking at the singles romantic feelings, like I, I'm not even going to say anything here, right? Life is too short. you got to find out. Now, for those of you who are in a relationship, your spiritual path has put you on, you know, the same path as the right partner for you. And that's perfect. I don't ever think religious factors should be an issue within a relationship because, again, there's truth to everything. If you can't, you know, be understanding of another person's beliefs, then, you know, that'll definitely put a divide in the relationship. But I do think that this is, you know, spiritually you're being led to the right person. And that relationship is going to be really strong because of it. But, Gemini, you got to work some stuff out. Right? Work out that wild side. Get that stuff under control. But be careful about going into isolation after the fact. Right? Because you don't want to be like, oh, I did something wrong. Shit, now I'm not going to do anything else. That's not right either. But just be careful. Be careful about getting trapped in situations. But, you know, if you're looking for some short-term satisfaction, and even if that means, like, cheating on a diet, that I can understand. Right? Just be careful with what you're doing here because you are moving really quickly into a situation.